Hi guys, Dana Caitlin here, and today I am going to be testing a new beauty hack using baby powder. Now, I have seen this hack all over the internet, and I want to know if it works. I bet you want to know if it works. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. We are going to be baking today with baby powder. So instead of using a translucent powder or, you know, a loose setting powder to set your concealer and your makeup, we are going to be trying it out with baby powder. So anyway, I already put my foundation on like literally just barely so it's still kind of wet and then I'm just going to grab my concealer and we are going to apply it and we're going to see how it works and how it does using baby powder as setting powder. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my concealer really quickly. And I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape for this in shade light. Okay, so I have the concealer on and now we are going to attempt to bake with the baby powder. So let me zoom you guys in a little bit. See if I can get lower here. Perfect. Okay, so all I'm going to be doing is sticking this in just like the lid of a container that I have down here. Squeezing a little bit out and then I'm just going to be grabbing a damp beauty blender and... We're just going to go for it. So, I'm grabbing a generous amount of my beauty blender like I would with a setting powder. Whew. It literally doesn't feel like there's anything on my face. Oh, wait, okay. So, I feel it slightly like tightening, like it's drying, just like you would with a setting powder. So we're just going to leave that for a minute and let it bake. And while we're letting this bake on our face, I'm just going to go ahead and contour really quick. Okay, so for my contour, I am just going to be using the Morphe Brow Palette that I always use and using this shade right here. This is my perfect contour shade. Um, you know, I'm not big on like, you have to use products for what they're intended for. And I mean, this brow palette works for me and it's my perfect contour shade. So I'm just rolling with it. Um, let me grab my brush. Oh guys, I'm so disorganized in this video, I can't find anything that I need, but I just found my brow brush, or brow brush, my contour brush, um, and I just use the BC Mall round face brush for this. I got it on Amazon, and I really like it, so we're rolling with it. So I'm just going to start at the top of my ear, and carve out this contour. And if you wipe away a little bit of the baby powder, it's not a big deal. So I like to blend upwards with my contour. So I just kind of start at the top and then slowly work my way lower and lower, blending the brush up towards that main point on my ear where we started. Just like that, and then I'm also just going to take it along the top of my forehead. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a very small little brush and just 
like a tiny little angled brush. I think it's an e.l.f. one. And then I'm just going to contour down the sides of my nose. Just a little bit. I feel like this brush might have had different color product on it before I just used it. We're switching brushes. Okay. So my powder's been sitting here for quite a while. This baby powder, it feels like there's nothing on my face. So let's wipe it away. It is wiping away so easily, like easier than my normal setting powder. And it doesn't feel as dry and cakey. Oh my, where have you been all my life? Oh, my skin looks so airbrushed and so perfect. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. Okay, so I'm just going to also carve out my contour with this. Just like that, like I normally would. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for like 5-10 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so I am back and I'm just taking this off of my face. Girl, that is a sharp contour. What? Oh, ho, ho. okay, beauty hack tested. And let me just tell you guys that this works so good. I'm actually kind of mad at myself that I've spent so much money on products for this on like setting powders and translucent powders and trying to find the perfect powder that makes me have this like flawless poreless finish because this baby powder is the best thing that I have ever used for setting my makeup and I can guarantee you that I'm about to like dump out some of my translucent powder and fill the container with baby powder because that's how good this worked. Um, I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm really happy with the results. If you guys have tried this and had the same experience or a different experience for me, then comment down below. Um, or if you guys, you know, have something else that works better, or if you guys decide to try it out, let me know. Um, but yeah, so far, really good. I really like it. Anyway, thanks guys so much for, did you guys hear that? My dog is dreaming. Barking in his sleep. He's never done that before. That's so cute. Come here. He's like dead asleep. Oh my gosh, sorry. Totally ruined my outro, but dog back here on the couch barking in his sleep. Um anyway, um yeah, let me know if you guys try this hack and let me know how you like it. But for me, this worked amazing and I'm definitely gonna continue doing it. So, anyways, um if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and you like my videos and you want to see more of these, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel in the little red button down below. I also have my social media listed in the description box below as well as, well, I guess I didn't really use any products other than baby powder, but I will list my contour products. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight and I'll be ready for the day. I'm also let you guys know how this wears throughout the day, like if it actually lasts and does really well throughout the day or not. But yeah, I feel like this outro is so messy, but you guys know what I mean. So anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, and I love you. Bye!